Hey, it's Nick Lash back tonight. It's a late one tonight. It's very late, as you can see from the time up here. It's 23 24, so that's why I'm a bit quieter than normal, okay? Now, the other day I done a Voco screen, just a quick walk around a Voco screen. It's one of the newer screencasting uh, apps around it. There are quite a few, and you can use Terminal with WFMPEG, as you well know. But the granddaddy of them all, okay, one of the oldest ones with a GUI, is Recall My Desktop. And here it is. Now, some people don't like it, some people love it. It has its place still, I think, especially if you're running an older machine on, you know, basically with lower RAM specifications, lower CPU, because you don't have to encode on the fly. So, what I'm going to do is give you a quick walk around of it, just to see. You might want to use it, you might hate it, I don't know. There are some problems with it, with certain things, but they seem to be ironed out over the past couple of years. When I first started using it, ooh, five years ago, it was the dogs. It was probably one of the only ones around that worked, to be really honest with you. But now, it's like it's there if you want to use it. So this is the main screen. Once you install it from the software center or Synaptic, or whatever you want to do, okay, whatever you want to do. And this is the first screen you get up, and you get video quality and sound quality. Keep these at 100, okay? Just keep them at 100. Yeah. But the next thing you want to do is go to advanced, okay? So click on advanced. And this is the first screen you get, it's files. And your working directory is a temporary directory, okay? For the simple reason we're not going to encode on the fly. We're going to let it encode after we've done the video. This is why it's a better for older machines. For the simple reason it won't max out your CPU all the time, okay? It'll just like do about 50%, something like that, okay? So that's the first one. The second tab is performance. Now here it's up to you what you really want to do. Okay, it's entirely up to you. If I was you and you've got the machine to do it, which most of you should have at the moment, but if not, say you're in puppy Linux, I want to say a really old machine. We'll put to 20. Okay, 20 should get you know a reasonable enough frames per second. 15 is fine if you're just doing a quickie, but if you want to do show videos and stuff like that, you may want to do 20. Encode on the fly. Don't do it because you're just going to process on the fly, you know, and your CPU will go bang and it's, you'll just drop frames all the time and it'll be rubbish. Always go for zero compression, okay? Always go for zero compression. For simple reason, it looks better, okay? Forget about quick stuff sometimes, just forget about it. But you will need full shots every time, so you want a full shot of your screen every time, okay? That's what you're going to need. Right, next is the sound one, and this is where some people have some problems. Right. First, I mean, bear in mind I'm using a USB mic, but if you're using an ordinary audio mic with your audio in, this is what you want to do. You want to click there, and you want to get rid of all that, and you want to put 44 100. Basically, it won't sound like you're in a tin can, you know, and stupid. Uh, the next thing you want to do, you can actually leave it as default, but sometimes you'll find your mic won't work. Okay, so what you'll need to do is get the default in capitals and put D default in lowercase, and what you'll find is your mic will suddenly start working. Oh yeah, super or the duper, lovely. But well, under misc. You can basically leave this as it is really. You don't really need to do anything there whatsoever. So under MISC, don't do anything. Under sound, change that to 44100 and change that to default lowercase, okay? And also would normally be the thing you're using. Because remember pulse is just on top of Alsa anyway. Really. So back to performance, 20 should be okay. You can live with 15, that's not a big deal. And if you want if you've got a better machine, you can try 25, 30. Okay, it should work fine. Okay, no big deal. And files temporary, we leave it as it is. And that's all you do. And as soon as you click on a record, this will disappear, and that will change colour up there, and you'll be recording. And what will happen is once you've finished recording, and you click on the red button or whatever colour button it is up there. You'll see a little thing and it will take ages and ages and ages to go across, especially if you're using a big resolution like I am. But if you're on a lappy or something like that, it shouldn't take too long. But if you've got a low powered machine, say you're only using a two gig single core machine, it's going to take maybe up to half an hour to encode your video. Yeah, that long. I know what you're saying, yeah. But yeah, this is the granddaddy of them all, record my desktop. It still has its place for certain people. I still use it now on different machines because sometimes other stuff just don't work. And record my desktop does work. Yeah. You will find that the output is OG and OGV. So it's OG video and OG for audio. 
and that'll be fine. Just run it for Audacity, just split it and put the audio for Audacity and super duper. Check it out, lovely. You got your video done, yeah. Old school, record my desktop. It's still out there, it's still good to use. Sneaky Linux, get it. I'll see you later. Bye bye.